it's my last day in Saigon. And before we say goodbye to home and move on to season two of Hell's Adventures, let's get back to the basics, the good shit. Fog is now all around the world, but tell me an item that screams Saigon more than Gumdai. And the one thing that every Vietnamese girl wants to put in their mouth starts with a C and not a D. Oh my goodness, oh. So if I don't capture this, it's kind of a waste, guys. This is the same thing, but it's panda in color. There's a uh, banana in the middle with sticky rice on the side. It's slightly grilled. And of course, there's pet. Oh, look at that coconut cream. Oh, look at that. Oh, and there's tons of coconut cream coming out of here. And there you go. Look at that. Oh, it's it, it's such a waste if I don't capture this on camera for you guys. <laughs> there's nothing like this in Canada. I'm telling you, really, there's nothing. Mmm. Mmm. The bat. Ready? Let's go. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are on our way to do some fishing and partying. And uh, let's see how this goes. This is going to be a rare sight because land's getting expensive in Vietnam, and we're going to see how uh, long these places last. So I'm just trying to enjoy the best, the best I can here, guys. So look at this beauty, this guys. This is just somebody's paradise. It's kind of my paradise too. So you fish. There's rivers on the side. You sit here and you eat and you can chill. So far, we haven't seen any fishies. It's kind of sad, but this is just. Like just paradise, peaceful paradise. Damn. We out here trying to catch dinner, guys. And see what's up later. But you can party here, you can eat here, and you can fish here. How do you go wrong? So we are at Ben Kui here, guys, and uh, we're not eating anything yet because this is. I'm just enjoying the view here, and we are fishing. And I got my fish set up here. My man, we got a bet going on. Whoever pulls one of this, the other three is gonna take a shot. Uh, uncle here getting ready, and uh, we we hitting this up. We hitting this up. No food action yet. You gotta catch dinner. But this place is gorgeous, guys. I don't know how. Like I said, I don't know how much longer these places are gonna last. But like, it is just gorgeous here. I got my fish set up right here. You see this? Once this thing bites, those other three guys are gonna take a shot. I'm walking on this beautiful bridge. Look at this view here. They got the proper Vietnamese music and it uh, doesn't get much more peaceful than this. All right, guys, now we are in District 1, right by Wing Chai. And this is Ham Hami Bai, and I am at Gum Tan Tan Kyu. These guys are fairly popular, so now they have a couple, uh, a couple places. I've had this before, I believe, right around District 10. Uh, a long time ago, but I know they have a lot of items here. They and here we're just having a little get together for a family lunch. And before we get to all this, there's also this. So here you can get all of these to go or home or this is like cá kho cá bông, cá chả bông, cá chả heo, cá chả bông cá, cá bông gà. Little tiny shrimp burgers here, and they, they look like they're deep fried and. Like, that just looks awesome. Uh, that would be a really nice dong nhau, eh? Maybe we should buy it. How many gram? One gram. For one gram? That's a, that's a lot of money. For one gram. Couple of dollars a gram here. Damn. And you could get like all these ga kho and like these uh, si mai meatballs and uh, tat kho and ga. And then there's like su nu. And then this is like, is this like chicken? Yeah, that's chicken. That's lemongrass chicken. For a second, I thought this was like a turtle. That looks like a turtle-ish looking. And they have like a trứng mui meatloaf, thịt heo quay, cá kho, cá chiên, lạp sườn, and more uh, thịt kho. And this is like mực xào, and then tôm tôm càng rang, right? Tôm. And then they even have like a 
like okay steak lovers are probably gonna like kill me for this one and i'm i'm a little bit uh i got this little bit of a goosebump guys but we have a super probably super well done uh banoon there uh i don't know what cut but it looks really well done there so uh okay i'm gonna move on before i get thrilled literally um and a bunch of veggies uh ramung sal you got your cauliflower broccoli carrot mix mushroom and green bean pea and this looks like just like some steamed fish and of course they got bun mi i think they even have bun mi bako i thought i saw bun mi bako and this is their 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 menu here and prices i love it when i see prices because i know how much i've got to pay uh because uh shit has happened in the past uh, but yeah, and then now I have to decide what to eat guys, so I had go I literally had gum thumb this morning and I love gum thumb But I don't know if I'm gonna go for another one or go for the zit call or This is a tough choice, but I really love these sausages here um, They're a little tiny, but they're nice and juicy Yeah Calvin probably wants some of that in his mouth with Tony, but anyways Wait, wait, wait if you are about this gum, mahan, and mamla, if this shit all mixed up together gets you high or excited like it does to me, then the next episode is for you. Please stay tuned for our gum thumb special coming right up. Achoo! Ang ooy, chamunan dia gum thumb koi. Okay, nam chuk gang ye nya. Now I heard that this fall place. It's good. I did see a video of this on the internet. So here we are at Phao, Vietnam. In so this is So Sam Sao Chang Wuk Tong. Uh, I think I hope I said that right. Phong, uh, eight District Three, Wong Ba. Uh, and the Phao here is apparently pretty good because they got handmade noodles and an awesome broth. So we're gonna check it out, and I'll give you guys my full kind of. Uh, two cents on this just because uh, I want to give you guys a full kind of like taste test all right and immediately as you guys enter in um, I can tell you guys that this is our kind of first bowl of pho in Saigon in Ming Nam so as soon as you enter this place that uh, you can smell the aromas of the pho this is the oxtail here that they got going on uh, the gum the tendon just sitting there ready and just the smell coming from this broth here, the smell coming from the fall broth here is amazing already. And we, and we haven't even tried it, so and it comes out like that. And this is the Thai, this is the Thai bomb that I was talking to you. It tenderizes the meat. If you guys seen my fall video, this is what they do here um, to tenderize the beef so that once, you know, it's in your bowl, it's nice and tenderized. Because the cuts of beef here are kind of, you know, um, lean. Uh, or it just in general high around is quite lean and it can get kind of you know chewy and uh, when you bum you know smash it all up and you know tenderize it it's gonna taste a lot better and here you're gonna get that nice look at that look at that this is some ball action and lots of green onions which we're kind of lacking in North America too so there you go as you guys can see here this is one of the main attractions to any pho place that uh, I feel that we're a little lacking in North America and that's because you guys have to understand due to food prices this is very um, inexpensive in most regions of Vietnam but I mean if you were to go into a grocery store and buy a bunch of this right here I can tell you right now that this is gonna be over five bucks um, just because you have to buy everything separately like you know you have your ngao gai, um, you have this is uh, ngao om, and then you have some Thai basil and some more Thai basil. Like even a lime now costs you like a dollar. Uh, and of course you got the Y. if you open this up, uh, they'll charge you for it. If you don't touch it, they won't charge you for it. But it is laying there just to sit, you know. And one of my favorite things right here, cha da. And this is new to me because uh, I'm pretty sure this is pretty, usually from the northern style falls. Uh, you have your pickled garlic here, and then you have your hot sauce, your pickled onions, and my favorite satay. And of course, your hoisin sauce and sriracha kind of tung up type of thing here. Um, I'm pretty sure that 
they don't use sriracha in Vietnam, or I haven't seen a bottle. Correct me if I'm wrong, because um, there's just a huge amount of hot sauces here. Huge amount of like doing up already, so there's no need. And I love how they give you proper dipping bowls. So look here, uh, compared to here. I'm sorry, but I just like to dip my meat when I'm eating pho in one of these. It's just a lot more surface area and so the sauce doesn't go everywhere so i'm gonna grade my game to this so, and of course i got the line oh yeah and we're just waiting for a good friend of mine that i haven't seen for five years i've known him for a very long time and we're waiting for him to come eat but we're just getting some content for you guys and voila This is handmade pho noodles. It is soft and it melts in your mouth. And we will get back to this point. Now, the toppings. They have all the right toppings that actually belong in a bowl of pho. Now, as soon as you walk in, all the pho flavors and aromas are introduced through your nose, which then will ignite your senses and tell you that this is a rich and flavorful broth. But it is a rich and flavorful broth. Now, in my opinion, don't go for the stone bowl. It's too damn hot. I know, crazy, right? But unless you like dipping your soft noodles tea bag style and sip it on that hot boiling soup that might burn off your tongue, just go for the regular one. Now this brings us back to the handmade noodle. It is soft and tender. So don't overcook them like I did, dumbass. All right, guys. Today is another blessing. We are at Huang Ki. A hundred, over a hundred items. Jian uh, Mo So I just took a quick peek at the menu here, and it is fully loaded. We are in District Ten, Wung Mui, Phuong Mui Hai. So District Ten here, and uh, we're gonna have a blast here. I'm just eating with a couple of friends, and I'm gonna show you guys the menu, but. It's kind of like our noodle world or our kind of like uh, just Vietnamese restaurant with a bunch of freaking food. It is your options are you got a hundred items and and it's fairly priced. It's not gonna you know break your bank or anything. So we'll see what goes down here. So look at this menu, guys. Like we're looking at here, ba la la, a bunch of grilled or boiled meat. We got gaking, so we're going for that. We got bò nhung yam, hot pot. We got a more chấm nem nướng chả giò spring rolls, bánh uh, canh all sorts of bánh canh giò heo. We got bún bò quế, we got bò kho, we got bún mắm, bún xào bò, uh, bún chả cá, and giò heo a bunch of. Oh, oh, I don't want to skip some stuff. Look at all these. Uh, and we got chả nem, you got freaking stir fry dishes, you got beef, you got yay. Uh, I need some yen in my life, I mean, I got it there. Uh, so, octopus, uh, sh chicken, shrimp, beef, and fish. I mean, you name it. This is the ban can. And then we got fried rice and the regular stuff. But, yeah, look at this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Look at the thickness on the. Oh, yeah, this one I'm here for. So of course we got the uh, mum name here. This is fermented fish with pineapple sauce. Oh and the bancan of course. Um, and balala. This is beef wrapped around with grape leaves. And they grill it and you got peanuts. Usually mở hành rồi xong thấy mở hành nhỉ, green onions. Cái này gì? Nói thiệt cái này không biết. Oh, this is just like sauce. Dương thịt bằm hả? So it's like a meat poison sauce or just a peanut meat sauce. And of course you got your nem nướng cái này giống như là da à bánh trắng nướng hả? Bánh bánh trắng chiên đúng không? Bánh trắng chiên. And you have like another type of ham chả and then spring rolls of course. And this is all gonna go wrap and you guys gotta wait for the fish, the cá chiên so And this is the beauty of Vietnam here, guys. Everything is. Oh look at that, we got another plate over there of just veggies and I'm gonna jump on this. So this is my wrap here. Maybe we'll throw in a little carrot here for color. But master the wrap for the girls. 
Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, here is the cá chiên xù. So, this is what tilapia? Or là cái gì? Oh, I don't know. The, so, it's kind of like a carp, but uh, this is one of the things I like to eat the most here because the veggies, the mum name guys, uh, mine's a little bit, yeah, here, fermented fish with the pineapple and the veggies, like I said, and the wrap. And once you wrap everything and you get the crispy fish with a lot of mahan, I, I'm gonna need more mahan than that, but um, it's a beautiful sight in a roll. And you get the crispiness from all the skin here and the mahan and with the sauce it it's just it's it's beautiful and this item you you can find it in north america sometimes in certain restaurants but it is on the rarer side so a lot of work my opinion when it comes to wraps uh this might be the king of all vietnamese wraps i mean you have like your Nan wrap and then uh, gai kung and stuff like that with the peanut sauce. But for me, the ultimate combo is ga king so which is a deep fried fish with all this crispiness up here and the mahan. And then, of course, you got the mam mun. So, this is the ultimate wrap for me and how I like it. And I hope you guys have a good night. Of uh, course, guys, we out here at the Phuc Long. And uh, we're about to get some, yeah, fuck long. So we can uh, fuck a long time. Saigon, District 1, the party just doesn't stop. Weekdays are like weekends, and weekends just get even more fun. <laughs> and at the center of it all, walking street, wing, way. Let's get some dessert. So today is Sunday night in uh, Pho Wing Way, which is like a walking street here, Wing Way, doing Wing Way. And this is just like a big block where everybody just likes to walk, walk their dog. I mean, you could walk, I think it's about maybe half a kilometer, maybe a little bit more, maybe a kilometer, both roads. So you, I mean, the last time I was here, there's a bunch of motorcycles revving, you know, nice cars and stuff driving down these streets. But I guess they stopped that because uh, stuff could get dangerous. But you got a, mount, a lot of amount of food here, game and uh, bubble tea and gum tam, and that's a nice plaza where there's like these little mini uh, shops up there. You can either take the elevator for like 20 grand or something, and uh, or walk the stairs, or elevator if you're lazy. But it's Sunday and I don't know why it's in there, but there's a bunch, there's just a, it's like a bunch of people. There's like literally like thousands of people here. And uh, this is Sunday, but I wonder, this probably pops up every, uh, every day is probably like this. But uh, yeah, this is Wing Way, Foldy Ball Wing Way. <laughs> Mẹ siêu nhân hả? Dạ đúng rồi. Mẹ siêu nhân. Má mình kia 40 ly, 45 000 ly. Uh, of course it's got some coconut milk here and this is chè bưởi. It is soft and creamy and look at all this goodness in your mouth right here. So we ended up at the chè bưởi. And uh, this is a mung bean dessert, guys, with some coconut. And it's really thick and creamy. And there's some uh, mung bean and also uh, grapefruit, boy. And a little bit of pomelo uh, slices. Here we have a taro dessert with some taro jelly. It's like kind of like a rice flour chewy taro pieces. Kind of like a sweet rice cake. But it's a dessert and we have some taro jelly here too. Here you guys can see the taro jelly. Uh, there you go, you can see the taro jelly. And the nice thing about this guys is yeah, we are on Wingway Street right now, and your dessert options are basically endless. There's bubble tea, there's Starbucks, there's scambak, there's ice cream, there's ice cream sandwiches, 
there's literally like almost any dessert under you know the branch that you can under the tree that you can Ooh, think man. of where you This wraps up season one of Tell's Adventures, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for season two coming right up, where we explore the rest of Vietnam. Food, culture, scenery, and of course, more food. Now what can I possibly eat? Bye-bye.